Hey, what is up, everybody? Michael Crump back here again, talking about the latest and the greatest PlayStation 4 homebrew news and much, much more. Today, I want to talk about the PlayStation Vita and more specifically, how you can actually record your gameplay directly from your PS Vita back over to your PC for absolutely free. There is a couple of things that you will need before we get started. The very first thing that you're going to need is you're going to need to have a jailbroken PS Vita. I covered that in detail yesterday with a brand new video showing the latest and the greatest 2022 method. And then you'll just simply need a way to connect your PS Vita to your PC. So I'm using a 2000 model, so it's just simply a micro USB cable. And if you want to capture audio, you're just going to simply need a line-in cable similar to this one right here. Basically, both ends look just like this. You're going to plug one end into the PS Vita and the other end into your computer, and you're going to be done. So let's go ahead now and let's explore how you can do that, again, for completely free and for the most part, using the hardware that you've already got lying around the house. Okay, so before we do get into things, I do want to remind you that if you want to know how to jailbreak your PS Vita, which is going to be required, then you will need to probably check out this video or similar videos. And I did use the very latest methods, at least that I could find in the PS Vita jailbreak scene, to apply it in the most effective way. Okay, so you will need to head over to this GitHub page. Again, the links are always in the descriptions. And you can simply go to this page right here, and what we'll do is we'll scroll down just a little bit and click on where it has the udcd underscore uvc dot skprx. And once you download that file, that's really going to be it. Now you just need to simply copy that over to your Vita. Now, over on your PS Vita, if you followed my previous guide, then you will have this icon down here. So let's scroll down and let's click on where it says Vita Shell. And let's go ahead and click where it says Start. And so once you see this, you need to simply press the Select button on your PS Vita. Now, I can't show you pressing the Select button because mine's currently in use with this screen recording. So the screen recording that you see here is exactly what you'll get if you follow this method. And so here is a screenshot that I took with my PS Vita, and you will see where it just simply says USB connected. So you should see in Windows Explorer a new window pop up that shows that new drive that's just been added to your computer. And once I press select, this was exactly what I saw. So in my instance, it is the D drive. And where we want to begin with here is we want to go to the downloads folder here and then copy that file that we just downloaded from GitHub. And you're going to simply paste that into this folder here. Okay, great. That's absolutely it for the computer. So now let's go ahead and switch back to the Vita and let's keep trucking. And so just a little bit more information before we go further. When you see UX0, that is the memory card. So in my instance, since I have a 2000 model, the memory card that comes with it or it's built in is one gigabyte. If you have a 1000 model, then you don't have a memory card that's built in. You will need to get a memory card in order to copy it over. But again, if you had a memory card inserted and you just copied it over following my last steps, you'll just simply go into this UX0 and we will scroll down here to downloads and you should see udcd underscore uvc dot skprx. Now you're going to press the triangle button on your PS Vita and now we're going to select copy with X and now you can hit O for that dialog box. Now proceed to go back and we're going to go into the UR0 and then press X. And from here, let's go ahead and let's scroll down to the folder that is just simply TAI and then enter that. And now triangle again and we're going to select paste and it should copy over. 
So now that we're already in this folder, the easiest way in my mind is to simply go up to where it says config.txt and then into that file, go all the way down to the very bottom. And you're basically just going to add these two lines of text. So line number 41 and line number 42. So it may take a moment or two to add those manually to this file, but once you add both of those in there, then this plugin will run every single time the Vita reboots. Okay, and so once you have those entered properly, what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to simply reboot the Vita. So go ahead and you can either hold down the home button and just select power off if you would like. Next up is some sort of software in order to record your PS Vita. So keep in mind that the Vita now, when it's connected via a USB, it simply thinks that that's just a webcam. So in order to capture that signal, what I use is OBS. So head over to obsproject.com and then go ahead and download whichever version that you would like. And yes, by the way, this does work great with Mac. I've also recorded on a Mac with this, as well as Windows, and then Linux has some support, even though I haven't tested that one. Once you get OBS downloaded and installed, then you're gonna simply just add a source to a scene. So I created a scene already just called Vita, and then underneath sources, I'm going to click on the little plus and we're going to go to video capture device and we're going to create a new and I'm just giving mine the name of Vita screen and let's press OK. And it may pop up with the device or whatever last device was used. And so in my instance, it was the virtual camera. So I'm going to click on where it says device here and I'm going to go to PS Vita and give it a second and you can see it's already kind of showing up on the screen there. So we're gonna go down to where it says resolution FPS top and I'm just gonna to go to custom and then where it says resolution, we're gonna max this out at 1280 by 720 and then we're gonna press the okay button. Now we just need to make sure that this fits the screen. So let's go ahead and let's highlight the source and let's right click and we're gonna to go to transform. And then underneath transform, we're gonna to go to fit to screen. And there is our PS Vita being displayed in pretty much real time on our PC monitor. And then from here, you could go ahead and you could press the start recording button right here in order for it to start recording. And the same could be said if you wanted to do something such as stream your Vita to like a Twitch or a YouTube or something similar to that. And if you hit the recording button, then this is what it should look like. So it's a lot better than obviously those type of like fingerprints that's typically shown in a lot of videos. And it is absolutely free and really there is no additional cost. It really just takes about five minutes and you're good to go there. So anyway, I hope this video helps. And don't forget to hit the like button. Leave me a comment down below. Do you like the Vita content? Just let me know. Thank you so very much for watching. And with that being said, Michael out.